the U.S. also uh, committed to us that in the event uh, there are Afghans who come here for processing, that no one would be left behind in the Philippines. And that includes the, uh, even those who may be denied uh, an SIV, whom we expect will be removed to another country outside the Philippines as soon as their maximum allowable period of stay expires. Uh, and therefore, uh, any agreement we feel uh, on this effect with the U.S. must contain provisions regarding the removal of those denied uh, an SIV. Um, there are also a number of points I could... Yes, uh, Secretary, we're in receipt of your... Uh, uh, of your uh, briefer. Thank you very much. Yes, yes that's correct. So uh, the numbers have not been discussed, but there have been uh, various reports. Perhaps uh, um, Ambassador Maldes, you could help us. There are reports that uh, upwards of 1,000 eligible Afghan nationals per month would be sent, um, maybe 1,005 to 2,000 per batch, reaching a total of 30 to 50,000 Afghan nationals to arrive in the Philippines under this effort. Is that correct, uh, Ambassador Maldes? Yes, uh, Madam Chair, uh, that, is a, uh, that is what they were telling us that uh, they would like to see if they can bring in at least 1,000 uh, per, per, per batch. Uh, however, I just want to point out that it is really completely. Does up it mean to us. per batch per month? Um, and the second batch will not come in until the first batch of 1000 um, has departed and been processed to go to the United States. Or will there be 30 to 50,000 total Afghans in the Philippines at one time? It is, it's completely up to us on how we want to uh, proceed with this request. We can have it a thousand each time and they will re be uh, repatriated to the United States once they receive their SIVs, or they will bring in perhaps uh, one or two thousand. It depends on the kind of uh, uh, boarding or lodging that they will provide, which all of these, they will be uh, at their expense. Yes, thank you. Uh, I would like to call on Senator Coco Pimentel, who has been raising his hand. Thank you, uh, Madam Chairwoman. May, may I ask, where are these uh, potential Afghan refugees right now? Ambassador from way, Yes, from the way I understand it, uh, they are currently located either still in Afghanistan, uh, perhaps some, some of the family members of this uh, people who worked in the United States with the United States government, but. Uh, the the last uh, conversation I had with the State Department is that uh, some of them are in Pakistan at the moment. So, so thank you for that uh, point of information, Madam Chair. Yes, uh, Senator Tolentino, please. Senator Valdez, a few questions. Uh, sure, yes, you're willing yes. to answer some. Aside from the United States, there are existing similar SIV programs right now. We have one in Canada, the Special Immigration Measure, we have one in Germany, also uh, applicable to the Afghans. The United Kingdom has the Afghan Relocations and Assistance Policy, or ARAP. Australia, Australia has, the, has, the pro, has a program known as the Afghan Locally Engaged Employees, or LEEE. -E -E. Aside from the United States, were there requests coming from the, uh, the, the other countries I mentioned a while ago? Uh, not, not to us, uh, not that I know of. But you are aware of the several programs I mentioned a while ago. Yes, they, 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 they pointed it out to us that there are programs of other countries uh, similar to what they were requesting. And if you're familiar with these programs, these are, these are short term temporary uh, programs that would entail the processing of Afghans displaced prior to their relocation, for instance, to Australia, United Kingdom, Germany, Canada. Am I correct? Yes, that's correct, Senator. So, ang mangyayari po sa atin, temporary site, controlled by the Philippines, as mentioned by Secretary Manalo, perhaps a site with proper security measures, and perhaps a site uh, funded by the United States. Is the United Nations involved, um, uh, uh, Mr. Ambassador? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Uh, perhaps Secretary Manalo could... Uh, I don't think the United Nations is involved in this. Ma uh, Madam Chair, the reason why I'm mentioning this is that, as we speak, there are 29 to 33 Filipinos still in Kabul right now, working for various NGOs. We have, correct me if I'm wrong, Secretary Manalo, we have accepted a similar number of Syrian refugees. And, and, and during, during the 
past decades, we accepted several East Timor refugees. And if my, di pa ako buhay, uh, during the time of President Quezon, uh, siyempre po, libu-libu po yung Russian Jews. So that the question of distance probably is inapplicable right now. And during the time of President Marcos, we have the South Vietnamese uh, being stationed temporarily in Palawan. So, uh, Mr. Ambassador, kung sakali pong pumunta rito yung Afghans, ang uh, kinakatakutan po kasi ng marami, parang, parang, uh, Nagkaroon ng stereotyping na eh, suicide bombers ito. Ito po ba eh, mga edukado? Ito po ba eh, mga kababaihan? Ito po ba eh, binubuo ng pamilya na naiwan? Hindi po ito yung mga nakasabit sa aeroplano. Ito po mm, yung yeah. naiwan doon dahil nagtrabaho sa mga embassies. Tama po ba? Mm, tama, tama. Hindi, uh, all of them, uh, lahat sila nagtrabaho sa, for the U.S. government in, in one way or the other. At saka yung kanilang mga pamilya. Kaya it's, it's anywhere between 50 to 60,000 that are still uh, being processed for uh, uh, and, and, and you're perhaps aware, Mr. Ambassador, that we, have, we are a signatory to countless international agreements yes. that would, that would, that should allow us to accept uh, these Afghans uh, yes. in our soil. Tama po ba yeah, yeah. That's correct, um, uh, Senator. And are you aware of this? I, I hope my, my pronunciation is right. I, have, I haven't been to France yet uh madam chair refoulement refoulement would mean the return of a refugee to his her, or her former state against his will where he will be more threatened by in this case the taliban so pag yung nakarating po sa atin nag nag nag, nag dili dali tayo pinabalik marami ho tayong violation tama po ba yan ambassador Ah, uh, yan hindi ko sigurado yan pero ang 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 alam ko lang the United States government uh, has has assured us that whoever that we will allow to come into the Philippines for processing they will take care of them completely in other words if they are for some reason denied uh, the SIV that uh, their the processing will take place they will be immediately sent to another or a third country. Thank, thank you Mr. Ambassador. One one last point Madam Chair. Uh, uh Secretary Manalo correct me if I'm wrong. My data uh, was was prepared several weeks ago. More than 90,000 Afghans have been resettled across the United States over the past 20 months. More than 11,000 SIVs were issued to Afghans between October 2021 and September 2022, according to official figures. Tama po ba yan? Um, I cannot confirm, Mr. Senator. Yes. Uh, kung sakaling yung tama yung binabanggit nyo na 50,000, 1,000, mapapasama tayo rito sa figures na to. Kung dito ipoprocess to. At the rate they're going, 11,000, uh, halos isang taon, 90,000 ang uh, relocate. May, may posibilidad ba ho, Mr. Ambassador, na bumagal dahil nandito, na, natambak sa atin? Meron ba hong ganun posibilidad? O well, nagbunuhan na kayo sa tanong ko? And then, nasa sa atin na yun, Senator, na kung, kung ilan ang gusto natin. Pero ang, ang request nila is anywhere between 1,000 to 1,500 per batch. Ipoprocess nila, then they will be uh, they will go to the United States. Uh, kung gusto natin less, pwede rin. Ang tinatanong na sa atin is exactly yung kanilang uh, tinatanong or rinirequest sa atin, what is it that we will be able to get back to them that we can, uh, we can accept? In other words, uh, not all of this... 30,000 or whatever it is they intend to process will come to the Philippines and then uh, they will be here and, and they will wait for their processing. It will be by batches. Definitely, Mr. Ambassador. It's completely up to us. Mr. Ambassador, narami ho nakikinig kayo. Definitely, the Philippines will not be the final destination of these refugees. Uh, yes, that is temporary lang po Temporary lang po sila dito. Ang kinakatakutan ng marami ay baka malahukan ng mga terrorists. Kaya kung na-elevate na sa anti-terror terrorism council etc etc naniniwala po kayo uh, Mr. Ambassador na na ito pong pinag-uusapan natin ay pangamba na pos may posibilidad na hindi naman dapat mangyari kasi na vet na po yun bago dalhin dito correct yan yan ang tama senator uh, kaya nga lahat ng ating mga security agencies ay uh, tinatanong ng DFA dahil they also will have to give their comments kung anong tingin nila pero uh, yan ang sabi sa atin ng mga Amerikano na they will be vetted first 
they will be uh, double checked before they come to the Philippines and then again through processing. Madam Chair, uh, if I may be allowed to express my personal sentiment, I don't see anything wrong here. Uh, sa tingin ko po, kung talagang nag-vet ito, nag nagkaroon lang ng konting hype, stereotyping, bordering of discrimination. Na siguro naman, mabubutin tao yung iba. Yung mga FW po natin, eh, nasa iba't ibang bansa, tinatanggap naman po yung Kasasabi ko lang, mayroong uh, 33 na, na Filipinos pa sa Kabul. So siguro kung masasala po ito, wala tayong gastos, nasa secured na lugar, nasa isang isla. I think, Mr. Madam Chair, uh, we have abided and complied fully with all our international humanitarian commitments, including the possible erasure of what they term as, quote-unquote, human rights records of our country. Malinis na ho tayo dito. We're, 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 we're uh, getting here with clean hands. Tinulungan po natin yung mga tao na wala namang mga okay. kasalanan. Details will be will be laid down. But yun lang po yung sentiments ko, Madam Chair. But yes, ang mali lang po dito siguro yung proseso uh, shrouded in non-transparency manner, uh, not revealed to the country, not full explained, siguro DFA yung, ang dapat managot yan, pero yung, yung, yung mga Afghans, wala po silang kasalanan. Salamat po, Madam Chair. Maraming salamat, Senator Tolentino. Uh, ngunit, uh, ang ating tinatanong ngayon, eh, kung bakit uh, ipapadala ng Amerika ang kanilang mga dating empleyado sa ating bansa? Wala naman tayong kinalaman dito. Hindi ba nila nga tayo binigyan ng dahilan? What reason was given by the U.S. for making the aforementioned request, if any? Ambassador Maldes, Secretary Manalo, and um, as mentioned by uh, Senator Tolentino, are they in fact refugees? What is the understanding of the DOJ? the DFA and the BI of the term refugee. Ambassador Romualdez has explicitly stated these are not refugees. They are former Afghan employees of the U.S. government. I need clarification po. Secretary Manalo, Ambassador um, Romualdez, please uh, respond and uh, lend us light here. Secretary Tuadoro is uh, uh, shaking his head. Would you like to both in, please? Thank you, ma uh, Madam Chair, Your Honor. Technically, they're not refugees because basically they're not displaced. They're in their homeland right now. They have not applied for political asylum or any other thing. They're not in on extraterritorial jurisdiction. My understanding is that their visas for the United States shall be processed within this country because of administrative difficulties of the U.S. government, because of their bureaucracy in conducting any processing. But they are not refugees as of this time. They may become refugees Tom, if that is correct. their visas are denied, denied. and they are not and repatriated. Not allowed to be repatriated. Yes, Madam Chair. Yes, I'm in full agreement. I think they are not refugees, as rightly pointed out by Ambassador Babes from all this. Is that correct, Ambassador? Um, was uh, your statement regarding the fact that these are not